Hey everyone, uh, this is the 10 inch table saw that I bought through Amazon and I thought I might as well quickly unbox it, show you what's inside and then show you how it works once I try it. I really have no idea what to expect. And if you have not watched any of my other videos, I do a lot of work on very small model ships. So that's the reason I invested in this. So I'll get all of this out of here and then we'll take a look at what was inside. This is the owner's manual. It's just a trifold. It does say that it's a uh, 795 mini table saw. Please read all the instructions. I'm not going to do that. You can do that if you buy it yourself. And it does say that the brand is Sang Yang Mini Table Saw. I've seen it, several different company names, and I think that's the person that bought it from this supplier or this maker. This page pretty much gives you the layout of where everything goes on the table saw. It is written in English. It says how to install and use the drill chuck. And if you read down here at the bottom, it says only applicable to customers with drill chuck. Well, fortunately, I am a customer that did receive the drill chuck. Here's the items that came with it. So there's the drill chuck. These are some sanding discs. They can be used with the drill chuck. Be careful when you remove the chuck from the bag. Inside the bag there are five little set screws and it holds that chuck on. There may be one extra. I think you would only need, well, actually you just need two. So they gave you three extra. They must figure you're going to lose some. Well, it might be just like any other chuck. You need to Open that, take a rubber mallet and tap it on. If you don't have a rubber mallet, just uh, use a wooden block and a hammer and just tap it. Not too hard. Now I wish I would have paid attention to what those, the size of those sit screws it's a pretty small allen wrench and like I said you get a lot with it there it is you know it's too late now but had I been thinking I would have put some thread blocker on those to help them not come out so if I ever lose one, the next one I put in, I'll put some of that thread blocker on there. So that's now in place. The same time that the blade is turning, this turns, and I plan on maybe putting a polishing wheel out here, or polishing brush or something, I haven't decided. That's just a little added bonus. To raise and lower the blade, you loosen the fence, slide it towards the blade, and that'll give your uh, Allen wrench access to the control that raises and lowers the blade. So let me, um, let me re remove the fence so you can see. Clockwise raises the blade. Now they say if it gets too high then you have to do it this way. It is limited to about an inch in height. I think it says an inch and a quarter. So there's the maximum height. And it is 
inch and a quarter. So theoretically, you might be able to cut something an inch thick. I don't plan on doing that with this particular saw. Now I want to make sure that it actually works. And the power source for these is a notebook power adapter. And I've got two or three of these with different tools. And it has a speed control that's just a simple slide switch. And on here it says 12 up to 24 as far as the speed. So see how that works. The power connector is right by the on off switch. And I have it on the slowest or lowest setting. And actually it's very quiet. I've also determined that if you're not on a flat surface, you can unscrew these, the legs, and get it so it's stable. And I'm also hoping that I can take my little shot vac, and there's a little hole right here. It doesn't fit, but I may come up with something, or I can just kind of hold it there to uh, maybe cut down on the sawdust. So let me get some sort of piece of wood and see if I can cut it. Okay, this is gonna be a very rough cut. This is a about a half inch thick piece of mahogany actually. And you can tell I'm not gonna cut it straight because this is was rough cut. And I'm just gonna run it through and see what I can come up with. Again, that's the slowest blade speed. I just remembered that, so I probably should turn it up. some color from the blade there. Looks like the blade must be blue. It didn't splinter it or anything. So considering that's a, a hardwood, I'm pretty happy as a start. And I'll just be using it for small things like this. Now as far as the sawdust issue, so I mentioned this port and that is where the the sawdust comes out, so if I can uh, hook up my shop vac to right there, I think it'll vacuum out most of the sawdust. Here's some more of those hex heads, so if you want to do an angle cut, there's also markings here uh, in the metric system, and that's so the fence you can get straight. It's marked on both sides. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, it looks like to access uh, you would have to remove these four bolts. They do provide all of the different size Allen wrenches you'll need. Okay. There are two rubber band like belts that turn the blade and the drill head. Pretty simple. I've had issues with similar equipment where these clips that connect the motor vibrate and come loose. So if it ever stops running, that's the first thing to check. So pretty simple. And then the, the box is open. It's right back in there. So that's easy to access actually. Okay, this will be my first attempt at making a cut and I kind of pre-cut this mahogany into a rectangle 
And what I want is a square piece because I'm going to put it on a lathe and then try and make a cannon barrel out of it. So what I did first was, well, let me loosen the rail. So I know this is about a half inch. It's not exact. It doesn't need to be. So I set that in where the blade contacts, slide the fence over to it, just snug, not with a lot of pressure, tighten that, and I'm hoping when I cut that, it's pretty much going to give me a square and then I can use that on the lathe much better. So let's see how it does. Well, I ran into a problem because this is actually in the way and I can't push down and get it to go through the blade. So I'm not sure about this cover for safety. So be sure and wear eye protection. Okay, so now this will give me the ability to use my uh, push stick a little bit better. need to invest in a better push stick too, which I'll either make one or I'll go buy one. So now let's see if I can finish getting that to push through. So it did give me a pretty good cut. You can see where I burned it because that's where I stopped and let the blade run. It did start to bog down so I needed to slow down, but overall it looks pretty good. So for my use this is going to work just fine. You know it is it's for crafts. I think I will enjoy having this using it as a polishing, sanding, or buffing wheel. So this ended up being a pretty good square and in a future video I'll do a review on this small wood lathe that I'm going to make small cannons for small model ships that I've been making. So as a, an initial feel on this I give it a B plus. I do like that it's all metal construction and um, I'm happy with the purchase. Doesn't take up much room. Great for uh, modeling and wooden model ships, things like that. That's the 10 inch mini table saw.